Hi, welcome back to Sandra's Books, where I talk all things book and bookish related. So before we get into this week's video, I just wanted to quickly apologize for not updating in almost like two weeks or a week and a half. I don't even know anymore. At least 10 days or something. Uh, I've honestly been so busy. As most of you know, I run so many more channels. I run a freelance business. I, I do a lot of things and my time just escape out of my grasp. So it's been really hard juggling everything that I do and I haven't been reading and therefore I haven't been filming and I haven't been editing. I still have lots of book haul to edit but I don't have the time so I uh, decided this week that I would read shorter books so I would read some poetry book especially since there is the release of Time is a Mother by Ocean Wong and I've been waiting and anticipating this book for over a year now or at least a year. So yeah, I decided to read some poetry collection because it's much shorter and it's quicker for me to get through. However, I hope, really, really do hope that uh, regular videos and reading vlogs will follow soon. I am working on it. I'm trying to manage my time without like cutting severely off my sleep and my health because that's a thing that stresses me out even more. So please bear with me. Hopefully we'll get back to a two videos a week ratio again hope if not i really appreciate the patience and the love and support that i keep getting on this channel i obviously never want to lose that and i obviously love reading and i want to read a lot of books in a year because it's just something that i love doing and i want to prioritize every day i want to be at a spot in life where i can read every day again it's actually really hard for me to reconcile this lack of time to do the things that i love the most so Hopefully that will change in the next few weeks. Hopefully I can make more intentional efforts towards that. But enough of that, let me briefly introduce you the poetry books and then we'll get started with the reading vlog and then I'll end with my thoughts. So obviously first we have Time is a Matter by Ocean Wong. As always, Ocean talks about being queer, being an immigrant and his mom and his relationship to his mother and his relationship to basically the world, right? And then we have also Revenge Body by Rachel Willey and this is a button poetry book and it's about a woman who is queer and she's overweight and it's all about rage and revenge and mental health and really impactful. And then we have also another impactful work. All these poetry works are very impactful. We have The Country Between Us by Caroline Forsh. It's an older poetry collection, but it talks about El Salvador and Caroline Forsh as she travels away from her home and how uh, she encounters people that have been in the war and the mistreatment that people suffer to in Latin America. So she is basically conjuring back old memories and you know talking to people that have suffered through the similar things and it's really really gut-wrenching but i'll talk more about that at the end of the video so let's start with the reading vlog ah, ah, holy shit i'm so tired So, look what came in the mail. Yes, Time is a Mother by Ocean Wong. Poetry collection. It's so much smaller than I thought it would be. I'm going to read this now. So, wish me luck. I just realized I didn't do today's wordle. So, I'm going to do that first. Because I need that wordle validation I always I either get it super early or like the last one yeah
coming to you from the floor and from my cat I actually like sitting on the floor wow I like this um, it kind of hurts the neck to look up like that but uh, it's something we could work around I guess and train for so I have two packages and I figured because they're two small packages I'll just open them in this video in this vlog because uh, yeah I'm just too lazy to be filming anything right now so I'm just gonna film things in real time and go for it so this is the first one they're both from Chapters Indigo oh my cat is gonna go crazy look at that come 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 on come on guys sorry Liz come sorry are you serious on the camera come on come on show everyone what you got ow okay here, come here. Come, come, come. I don't know. Cats, am I right? They never want to listen to you. Oh, you saw that, right? Let me just adjust this. <laughs> Adjustment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, you see the reality of this floor. It's, like, littered with books. Okay, so. Let's finish. Ah, let's finish. I like these editions. So it's the Scarlet Letter by Natalia. Natania. Natalia? What did I say? What did I just. No, this is why I don't film when I'm sleep deprived. Nathaniel Hawthorne. I can't speak. I'm tired. Imagine if I filmed my book hauls at nighttime. It would be so much worse than the ones that I film in the morning time. Okay. I. I pfft. Nathaniel Hart Hart Hathorn. Is this not a? Is this is no. Is this is not that hard. It's not. I can't blame it on my French accent. Hawthorn. Nathaniel Nathaniel Hawthorn. Okay, the Scarlet Letter. I never had an edition of this book, and I am excited to read it. And I like actually. I actually like these Oxford White editions, and I like this edition. I like. Okay, leave it here. Next package. I think there might be two books in here, or I might be wrong. I might be just hoping for two books. Oh my god, it's the new Oxford dictionary for writers and editors. Nice. Why does it look battered? This is supposed to be a new book from Chapters Indigo. I don't like when that happens. Okay, the essential A to Z guide to the written world. Is this actually a dictionary? It's a dictionary. Give me a word. Okay, you won't be able to give me a word. Let's say, let me let me just pull up a word. Kaaba, holy building in the center of the great mosque at Mecca. Okay. Why is it? Why is it a dictionary uh, centered for writers and editors if it's just a nor? Oh my god, yawning. If it's the if it's just a normal dictionary someone riddle me that i need i need answers okay round head cap one word round house oh is it just like okay is it because it shows you how to spell it in one word because most of these words don't even have a a lot of them do but some of them don't it's like Why do they have Derrida, like Jacques Derrida, French philosopher? Derrière, person's buttocks. This is so weird. Classics. It says, the study of ancient Greek and Latin literature, philosophy, and history. 
um, Claudius, like the Roman Emperor, Clay, Cassius, C. Muhammad Ali. What is going on? Austria, my country. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna pretend like I know what's going on. But yeah, those were the two books. And I actually have another package to open since we're already here on the floor. I'm gonna go and crawl and get it. Enjoy my cat. Hi Silas, how's your night been? Are you causing terror? Are you causing terror? <laughs> oh my god, imagine being a cat. Like the amount of shit we get up to. Look at that. Okay. Alright. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I see it. Harry, answer the phone. You're no good alone. Oh my god, I was supposed to do pins. You know what? I give up. Oh my god. Okay, so I've been waiting to open this package. Did you just leave me? Um, for like four weeks now, three weeks. So I think it's finally time to see what's in here. It's a book that I want. So. Ow. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It says, always home. And it's a daughter's recipes and story by Fanny Singer. Photographs by Bridget Lacomb. And it's a forward by Alice Waters. So, um, do I even know who Alice Waters is? I acted like I just knew who that was. Oh, this looks cool though. I like this actually. I love the photos. This seems like it's a recipe... It's not even a recipe book. It's like it talks about recipe, but it also talks about autobiography. This is so cool. I love it. It's so cute. I'll link it down below for you guys, obviously, so you can look at it. It says a beautifully written memoir, funny and irreverent. And yeah, so it, it actually is a memoir and it looks super, super duper cute. So I'm glad I won this book. Guys, this is like the shenanigans that happened between me and my cat. Stop! Yeah. Yeah. It's his world. I'm just living in it at this point. Yeah, baby love. Stop, stop. It, 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 not my cable. Not my pencil liner. Jesus, you guys see this wild animal? Stop. Stop. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're such a wild animal. Look at this guy. Stop. No eating, no eating, no eating, that's my hand, Silas, that's my hand. Ay, 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 cuteness. Okay, so, back to matters at hand. We're about to read with this freaking delinquent and we're going to stop doing that boy 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 oh 
I have to post TikToks. Margaret Atwood. Maybe I should read this. It's Margaret Atwood, my mother. I mean, I already like know that she w was writing this, obviously, because she's my mom. But like, I have yet to read it. Okay, let me just read something. Let me start somewhere. Stop. Stop, boy, stop. Okay. I actually feel like reading Revenge Body right now, so let me read that. <sighs> stop it, Sardis. There's a quote by Toni Morrison and it says freeing yourself was one thing claiming ownership of that freed self was another it's starting well already
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the reading vlog and we'll go through the poetry collections together. So first one, Time is a Mother. As always, uh, Ocean Vuong is very, 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 very masterful with his words. I'm gonna just read you one or two of the best lines. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this as much as uh, his work of fiction, which was, what was it? On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous, but it's still pretty good. And I have here, how come the past tense is always longer? Is the memory of a song the shadow of a sound, or is that too much? Sometimes when I can't sleep, I imagine Van Gogh singing Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah into his cut ear and feeling peace. I think this one was really impactful because like, I just went to the Van Gogh exhibit and it just felt like too close to home right now. And then we also have, I highlighted a few of them, but like I said, it's not, um, here it says, I was met, I was made to die, but I'm here to stay. I think overall, this is a beautiful tale of resilience and, you know, coping with life, coping with tragedy in and of itself. And Ocean Wang is a master at that. So then I read uh, The Country Between Us and this one was so hard to read. It was so graphic. It was so, I don't know, it deals with dis displacement, war, uh, traumatic experiences, people dying, people that you've known that have passed away and other people that know them too. Like it was really, really hard. And um, I don't, think I could do this justice but I will uh, read what Margaret Atwood quoted and she said here is a poetry of courage and passion which manages to be tender and achingly sensual and what is often called political at the same time this is a major new voice for my highlight I have here the heart is the toughest part of the body tenderness is in the hands then I have another highlight here to my country, I ship poetry instead of bread, so I cut through nothing. I give nothing, so you see, I have nothing, according to myself. And it's just like that uh, poetry impact and, you know, how we use poetry to literally talk about the unspeakable. There was this one poem somewhere. I, I don't know if I highlighted it, I should have because it was really impactful and basically something horrific happened. I won't describe it here because I don't want to get flagged and I don't want to cause anyone nightmare. And uh, at the end, the leader taught, looks at the poet, which is Carolyn Forche, and say, this is something for you to write your poetry about, no? And it's like after doing this horrendous act and it's like, yeah, I, I live for poetry, but I don't live for misery. I don't know, that one like really hit me to the core. Anyway, so now we have also Revenge Body. Like I said, I really resonate with this. I'm gonna read a little part. It's queer, it's mental health, it's all the best thing. There's this one poem, it's pretty long. I won't read the whole poem here. It says, Ghost Me, I'll Write Your Eulogy. And that is a title of the poem. And the thing is, I have gone through this with a friend. So I felt like I needed to read that at that point in time. And it, it was just so impactful. And it's talking about in invisible friend. I did not see that they thrive best when my heart was foreclosed, liked me best at my most shattered, danced best to the clatter of my brokenness, how thoughtless knit my bones and deprived them of their music. They slipped from my world on their own, still tongue, after they reached for some shine that was not theirs, got burnt, and chose to blame the shine rather than their own entitled hands. They are survived by their own relentless mediocrity and some mountains that never claimed them anyway. Today we say a final goodbye to a false bottom friend who has who was swallowed whole by a green and bitter moss. Their body will be interred to a planter's field among promise breakers, liars, back climbers, cowards, and the other rotting disloyal. Perhaps not literally dead, but very much gone, very much below me. Hurt to hurt, acid to acid, trust to dust. Yeah, that was hard. It was really it really came at the right time for me. I think all of these poetry collections were really, really impactful and beautiful and hard hitting and all for different reasons. So highly recommend all three. I would say maybe four stars, maybe 3.5 stars. 
and maybe four stars 4.25 i don't know i i'm not good at ratings i just have thoughts and feelings so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video as always if you like this video like comment and subscribe i would love to have you here every reader and non-reader are more than welcome on this channel my goal here is just to inspire you to read more and to help you find your next favorite book if i can do that i'd be so happy and i would want to know and now share with me what is your favorite poetry collection because i might have it i might want to read it uh, I might have read it, so please discuss if you feel like, and I'll see you on the next reading vlog. Bye!